Only 217 days of rehearsal left before the Baldwinsville Marching Band marches through Pasadena, California in that Tournament of Roses parade. And tonight they'll take the stage at the Palace Theater to help raise money to get them there. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan introduces us to a very special guest who will be in the audience. Dave, yes. you're going to be roast. Okay. okay. Wearing a shirt covered in roses just for the occasion, Baker High School senior David Tesca is bestowed another one. No, it was, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I don't know. What am I supposed to say to that? He's speechless, but the Tournament of Roses president can put it into words. That rose is an important symbol for us. It, it, it symbolizes, like I said, hope. It symbolizes the future. I looked at those kids, and they give us hope for our future. And that rose is motivating so much of all of that and bringing us all together. This Laura is Farber isn't just putting logo. stickers on students so, all day. And it's She's getting really to know them. Blue, so, you... so we have to see something special in those bands. And that's what we saw in the Baldwinsville Bees. Something special, sometimes intangible. And cannot be more excited about this band. See the Syracuse is an easy trip compared so to where she's coming from and where she plans to go. Texas, Mississippi, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Denmark, Costa Rica, Japan, the homes of each band the committee selected for the January 1st parade. Along the way, the president is learning about their communities. The Baldwinsville band director has taken her to the Eastman House in Rochester, the Women's Rights Park in Seneca Falls, the Gorges of Ithaca, and Doug's Fish Fry. This is the most amazing, vibrant, beautiful place in the world. I have never been here. I want to come back. She's excited about our home, but her mission is to welcome the students to her home, Pasadena. Let the community know how special this is and get them excited and get everyone excited about Baldwinsville. And it's going to be on the map in a way it never has before because the Rose Parade is an international stage, an international platform that's viewed all over the world. And it's going to be a really life-changing experience. Helping these band students and their community blossom like never before. In Baldwinsville, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. The Tournament of Roses president got started as a parade volunteer 26 years ago before working her way up. Now you can meet her before tonight's show at the Palace Theater in Eastwood. It starts at 730 and it's open to everyone.